Hello and welcome to this spotlight episode on Dwarf, one of the smallest mainline passenger locomotives ever built. Dwarf was a member of George England's standard Little England class of light locomotive. They were designed and built at the Hatcham Ironworks in New Cross in East London. George England had been born in Newcastle upon Tyne in 1811 and had been educated at the Dissenting Academy on Percy Street in Newcastle, run by John Bruce. Famous alumni of this private school for Unitarians include Robert Stevenson and his business partner Michael Longridge. George England was also supposedly apprenticed to the Stevensons. By 1839, George England was set up in East London, running his own iron foundry. He enters locomotive history in 1843, when he built a hand-cranked manumotive, which was used as an inspection vehicle by the London and Croydon Railway. The first of the class, Little England, was delivered in autumn 1848 and was under trial in that November. The contemporary technical press reported the successful trial of Little England, a 222 well tank. This tiny locomotive had driving wheels 4 feet 6 inches diameter and carrying wheels 3 feet in diameter. The cylinders were a mere 7 by 12 inches, but this was later increased to 9 by 12 inches for the production locomotives. The cylinders were carried midway along the boiler, fed by outside steam pipes, and mounted inside the frames. Little England had a fixed wheelbase of 14 feet, which was later increased to 15 feet in subsequent production locomotives. In working order, she weighed 9 tonnes. Boiler pressure was 100 psi, and despite George England having been apprenticed to the Stevensons, he favoured Berry's D-plan firebox with hemispherical top. This little machine was capable of speeds of up to 45 miles per hour under load, and running light engine was reported to have reached some 60 miles per hour. Dwarf was built in September 1849 as one of two Little England class locomotives for the London and Blackwall Railway at a cost of £1,000 each. However, Dwarf and her sister engine, Little Pygmy, were returned to their makers in 1851 for £700 each, as part of the cost of two newer and much larger locomotives. Dwarf was then purchased by the London and North Western Railway in July 1853 for permanent way duties. Dwarf was based at Stafford and hauled the personal saloon of Mr Henry Woodhouse, the chief permanent way engineer of the London and North Western. And this magnificent saloon had been built in London by George England and Company. Dwarf remained on station at Stafford until 1873, when she was overhauled and then sent to Bangor in North Wales, also to work the engineer's saloon. Dwarf was finally retired from service in the November of 1877, and sent to crew for preservation. In 1881, she took part in the Stevenson Centenary in Newcastle-upon-Tyne, but was sadly scrapped sometime around 1888 after being damaged in a fire at crew work. Dwarf wasn't the only Little England class owned and operated by the LNWR. She was joined by a sister locomotive named Carlisle in 1863. Carlisle had been built for the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway in May 1856, costing £1,000, where it was named Watkin, after the line's general manager. Upon purchase by the LNWR, she was renamed Carlisle, and was kept on station at Audsall Lane in Manchester to work the Manchester Division Engineers Saloon, a saloon which was very similar to that worked by Dwarf. Carlisle was fitted with the cab seen here in 1873. Other Little England class locomotives were built, including for the Dundee, Perth and Aberdeen Junction Railway, the Edinburgh and Glasgow Railway, the Liverpool, Crosby and Southport Railway, and one was even exported to Belgium, 
One example was also displayed at the Great Exhibition of 1851. Whilst these little locomotives won George England much praise, it is for his narrow-gauge locomotives delivered to the Festiniog Railway in North Wales which won him everlasting fame and for which his firm is most remembered. I hope you have enjoyed this video on this little engine, the Dwarf. And if you have, please leave a comment below, as well as like, share and subscribe. If you would like early access to Rail Story content and see your name in the credits, you can do so via Patreon. And I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rail Story.